Hey, hey, David Scott Golfer coming at you. Wanted to show you guys my Glock 26 uh, trigger job I did. And so uh, let's start off by clearing it, making sure it's empty. Nothing in there. Knock it down, safe direction. Bam, nothing in there. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, it's a medium texture. Um, I did the palms. I also did the Asalian Arms double undercut, so I double undercut here um, along with the finger groove. You'll see it's all stippled underneath there. And um, it was nicer, but then I like flattened a little area out, and this is just part of the learning process to get it so it didn't irritate my finger as much in between these two pads. So um, uh, when I show you my Glock 42 in the next video, you'll see what I mean. It, it turned out really, really well. I did this smaller stippling on my 42. This is a Glock 26 Gen 4. And what you'll also see I did is I took off the giant hump on the back of these. Even though it's smaller than the third gen, I took off the hump and now it fits amazing. I mean, it's just like perfect. Uh, gives it a little bit more of an M&P feel. And I love that. I don't have giant hands. I'd say they're probably medium size, and it fits around this this uh, gun like a glove. It's just amazing. Um, you, let me show you the other side. It came out really, really nice. Yeah, I mean, it came out great. I love how the pads turned out. I even did the top at the angle there that it comes with, and that I like because then I can put my thumb kind of on top of that area when I'm pulling down. Let me get better light on it like this. Hold on one second. Let me adjust this light here. Yeah. So right here, there's this little pad that kind of runs around. You'll know if you have a Glock and you put your finger on there and you can kind of hold the barrel down and then it makes it really, really nice. So again, when you go to pull it and then it tries to pull up a little bit, you'll be able to push your thumb down on that if you'd like. So um, feels great. Uh, what I also wanted to show you that I did is I, um, I did uh, some of the uh, magazines. So... There's a couple different ones that I did. I did the original, um, where is it? Is it behind here? I don't know what happened to it. But it was the original one, the flush fit, and uh, it came out really, really nice. And then I did the ones that I use all the time, which are these, which are the extended pier scripts. And what I did on these pier scripts, and I'll do another video about this, is I measured them to my hand, when I put them in, oops, hold on a second. Oh, man. Sorry, hold on one second. I'm going to have to um, unload these magazines real quick. You shouldn't have ammo in them when you're going to be playing around with them. So let me take those out. Got my uh, ammo. Let's separate that here. You can see there's no ammo in there now. But what I did is I custom fit these to fit my hand so when my hand was wrapped around I can get my pinky on there too you can see and get a good purchase but before this pier strip came way down probably twice as much as that so that your pinky can get in there and kind of push up but I don't need all that I'd rather have it compact and the regular magazine would go just across like this so I'm just adding on probably less than a quarter of an inch now but then I can carry it with these I don't have to use flush magazine so a lot of people, they'll use flush magazines and then the backup mag, they'll go to something like like this, a uh, Glock um, 19 mag with the extension on there, which I did also, and this is also empty, and put that in there and then go to that afterwards. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but when I take my first shot, I want it to be as accurate as my you know 11th shot, my one through 10. So this one, whoops, wrong one, that one has something in there. Uh, this one, i got to learn to get those out of the way when I'm doing this. This one is awesome. There's nothing in there you can see. Because it fits my hand perfect. I get a full purchase on it. And then when I fire the trigger, I don't have to worry about it, you know, not having that on there and my pinky being loose. Although I'm good shooting without my pinky. It, it, it's nice to have it on there if you can. So now I get it on there. And then obviously I can take my... Glock 17 mag or 19 mag and put that on there and that's stippled too to match and then I also did my Glock 17 mag with my extension the X grip extension and did that too so now you're talking to get a big purchase on that 
but the 19 is actually just amazing. So you can feel, look at that, it's just perfect. So if you have that, you're getting a full 19 grip with just a little bit shorter barrel on the 26. So um, I also did, uh, so I did two of the ones with the pierce grip. Um, I also did the, the one on this. This is a plus two, so I can do 12 in this, and that makes it nice. So I can put this on here, and now I have you know, just a little bit more space than the, the regular ones. Now this is more like the pure script that I would have had, so you see how much room you save when you cut off the rest of that on there. See, like that, you save all that space right there. But this gives me two extra rounds if I wanted to run 12 outside of the state of California, and I get a really good purchase on there. And I stippled that too. So they all look amazing. I love the stipple job I did, it came out great. Um, even did my old 30 round. You can see that. That's a bad boy there. 33 rounds of love. And uh, the only problem is when you're holding it, it's really hard to reach the trigger. So, uh, just joking. So anyway, that's really cool. 33 rounds. And what's great about this is, say it's in your kit, sticking up. When you grab that thing, you're not going to slip because they are real slippery, these ones, when you first, when you have them. Here, I'll show you the other one I have. So this one right here. You know, when you grab it, it's definitely slippery. And now it's totally, you know, grippy. I also did a couple marks around the edges here, up above where it goes into the frame. And what that does is it keeps it from having such a wiggle inside the gun. Like when I put this one in, there's way more movement around. You'll probably hear that than this one now, because I put a little bit of stippling. So it's a little bit tighter and it feels a little bit better. So, oh, let me fix that camera again. So I really like the way this works, and it fits great inside my kit. Uh, let me show you my kit real quick, hold on, or my belt. So, say I'm wearing this belt, and I'm wearing this would be a wintertime belt, you know, for a concealed carry under a jacket. I could put in a 33 round magazine, like such, and see it goes down right to the top of that. And now it's like really nice and rough there, so if I need to grab it, I have no problem pulling that out of my bag. So it works out really well. So anyway, that's a Glock 26 uh, with a stippling job. Um, the polished uh, slide release. Uh, and I got the extended kind, the Glock original. I also polished my uh, metal bars, uh, pins going through, and the uh, slide stop uh, and slide um, uh, dis disassembly uh, lever. I polished that out so it looks really cool. Um, on here I'm also running the uh, uh, Trijicon and I actually love them, the HD sights, they're just amazing. Um, and they light up really well in the dark, you get some good, I don't know if I turn this light off if you don't see it very well because I still have other light. But anyway, eh, probably not. But I love the white ring around it up front especially, it's a little bit bigger of a white ring and it really works good. You also see I stippled the back of the original plate a little bit too, cuts down on the glare a tiny bit, and I left it unstippled under here like you should, because then your pocket, you know, your uh, the, the web of your hand fits under there great. And uh, man, I'm able to get some good pre uh, purchase on here, and I'm shooting a lot better now that I took off the hump and stippled it. The grip's a little smaller, I'm able to get a better purchase on it, and my groups have improved, I mean, remarkably. It's amazing. So. Highly recommend you do it. Um, you can always uh, message me. I do them. I'm doing a few, a few for free right now to kind of get used to it. And I'll do a really good job. I'll show you my next one. Look at my Glock 42 video. But uh, this is my one of my starter guns and I'm um, having a lot of fun. As you can see, I practiced on a lot of different magazines. And I practiced on the Glock 4 back straps that came with different uh, type of uh, hole sizes in the, or stipple sizes and you'll see in my next video the tiny one and it looks almost like velvet and came out even better than this one so david scott golfer heading out um that's it take care bye